Welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps and this is Margie and I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Alrighty, housekeeping. I always show that I put my safety glasses on. Alrighty, so today I want to make something fun and I need to show you. So I believe I found this adorable mold at Joanne Fabrics. Aren't they cute? Look at that little beach balls and flip-flops and sunglasses. Oh my gosh, and I, I know this is almost halfway through July, but I'm going to make this. And I just thought that was just adorable. And so here's the my melt and pour embeds. This is, um, so I use the low sweat melt and pour from Brambleberry. And it works pretty good. But now I think I may have snuck in just a little bit of their their regular melt and pour that I, I just wanted to use. And I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, there's just a little bit of of sweat going on, but I think they'll be okay. But I just want to let you know for for this for these sunglasses. I had to melt them several times because this little bridge, as you can see, is very, very uh, delicate. And so what I had to do, let me see if I can find find a couple. I, I needed to kind of overflow the mold so there was, you know, extra around there. And then I just took a, a knife and carefully cut it off. So that was that so I think I'm going to be putting those um, on top and maybe just have a simple design and I'm gonna be making 15 bars today out of my mold my wooden mold that my husband made me about a year and a half ago and I have not used this for quite a while for, uh, for the reason being that lately I've been sampling a lot of fragrances from a couple of different companies and so I've been um, been buying the two ounce bottles which just fits perfect in in that eight bar silicone mold and I I found that um, you know, it's it's almost better. It's almost better if you just purchase the two ounce bottle versus the one ounce bottle. Spend just a little bit more money, and then you can actually have a few bars um, to in, to enjoy. I really I really don't like using just a little tiny one ounce, or that just drives me crazy. So anyway, um, so there we go. All right, housekeeping, housekeeping. Oh, and like I mentioned, I am using my cell phone to video this, and I'm still trying to uh, figure figure out, um, you know, if the volume is all right and this and that. So, so bear with me if it's not a, you know, a perfect video. Um, let's see. Um, um, um. All right, I am using. Nurture soaps, yuzu, and cocoa type. Now I, I'm pretty sure that this this is one of them that Nurture needed to change the name a few months ago. But if you but if you still type in the yuzu and cocoa type, um, the Nurture soap will will just uh, default to the new name and I can't remember oh it's almost on the tip of my tongue but you know I, I don't know why they call it cocoa type maybe it's the tonka bean I'm not quite sure but when you smell this folks to me the first note and the lasting note after it cures is a nice mandarin orange so if that appeals to you this is a really nice one and I believe this is the essential oil fragrance oil that I often let you know about and for the colors, I'm going to do something kind of fun and daring. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. But, you know, like I have mentioned in the past, 
I show up to the party and I just let the party happen. I, I usually have no real design in mind. I just make up my oils and my butters and my light water solution. I know what kind of fragrance oil I'm going to use and other than that I just kind of let life happen. So let me let me show you really quick here. So what I did, I mixed up a little bit of oils here. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to have some yellow. So this is Brambleberry's Fizzy Lemonade Colorant, which you need to mix with the oils first and blend it because it is not a mica, it's a colorant, so you really need to get it smooth. And then um, I'm using Brambleberry's Electric Bubble Gum Colorant. And that guy is here and, and it has thickened up on me. Oh my goodness. So isn't that kind of pretty? So once I get the you know oils in these, then it won't be so vibrant. So that was just straight that. And then for this color here, actually, do I almost have all brambleberries this time? Oh, glory be, I think I do, that's funny. Usually I, I have uh, some, some nurture soap. So from Brambleberry, this is their raspberry mica, and I haven't used that for quite a while, and I thought, you know, I, I'll add a little different color. So this is a combination between the raspberry and a little bit of the um, bubble gum and I think a little bit of the yellow, I think. I think, I think. And then this orange, that was just a combination of the yellow and the pink. So... I think what I'm going to do, I think, I think, depending on how the fragrance oil behaves, and as I remember, it did behave pretty well, and I am soaping at a two to one, oh, the scourge of my existence, these cords. So I am soaping at a two to one water to light ratio, which means I'm using twice the amount of water as light in weight, not volume, but in weight. All right, make sure we're, we're okay. I think we're okay there. All right, so I have some, some kaolin clay in there already. Oh, yeah, let's just Pour in the fragrance oil. And I'm just thinking, I might, oh, that smells so good. Oh, jeeper jeepers. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, see, this, this reminds me of some sort of a yummy tropical drink or something. Oh, I just, yeah, anything orange, anything orange or lemon. Everybody knows that I like, love my lemons. Okay, move that out of the way there. Okay, let's just get that blended up there. Uh, I think it wants to be on too. And I think what I will do, maybe just add just a little bit, tiny bit. Where do I want to put this after the lie? <laughs> maybe after the lie. I just kind of want to put just a little bit of the titanium dioxide in the batter. Oh, I was going to take a quick, quick little temp here. 
Okay, so the oils is around 82. And the lye is down to about 86. And you know what? I'm going to strain. I'm going to strain my lye. It's like I put the Tessa silk in there. It just seems like it didn't dissolve all the way. Which is odd. Alrighty. Okay, did it mix in here? That smells so good, everybody. Mm -mm -mm. Just that probably isn't going to do very much there. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. That's thickening up pretty doggone fast to me. Shoot. That's interesting. Wasn't supposed to do that. thickened up. Now I know I haven't used this fragrance oil for quite a while, but I do not recall it uh, thickening up like that on me. Well, I better, I better scoot along here then. Interesting. That, that yellow looks nice. Hmm. That's pretty. Heavens, wasn't supposed to be getting thick on me. No, no, no. Okay. You know, I hope this doesn't get so thick on me that I won't be able to put the embeds on top. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. You know what? Let's just Let's just do a quick pour thing. Before this decides to all right. Well, shame on you. Hmm. Now 
that's interesting. I really... I don't know what happened with that fragrance oil, but I honestly didn't think it was going to do anything. Okay. So... So this isn't even plan A or plan B, folks. You just kind of, you just kind of go with the flow. That was an interesting to do. Oh my gosh, that was a party. So it should be interesting to see what these colors are going to be uh, like at the end. And I am still uh, stumped as to why that accelerated on me like that. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, these, I just love how these little flip flops and this one come clean. The flip-flops and sunglasses look. I think that they're just just adorable. Let me see if I can bring it closer here. Aren't those cute? And I don't know if I really want to just... I, I think I will keep the glitter off of this on, on this one. So anyway, so I will probably be cutting this in a couple of days. So I will return. Alrighty, bye bye.